Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today on automation with a challenge. I saw this one suggested uh, last time out. It uh, certainly caught my imagination. I am going to try and build a vehicle to rival the GMC Cyclone. Now, I love the Cyclone. It is my kind of completely and utterly crazy, crazy vehicle. So I'm going to try and build something to go quicker than it to be even crazier than the cyclone now for this build i'm actually going to use the uh, the kind of era selector up here we're going to go back to 1991 this is when the cyclone was put into production i believe so this is what uh, we're going to be working with that will limit the kind of technology that i have available to build my vehicle now the first kind of conundrum almost that uh, came up with this was to uh, choose a body style for the vehicle. Uh, we could go... <laughs> look at this little thing. <laughs> could go for a chance that that's a little bit... Um, yeah, a little bit kind of too small to uh, really be with a, uh, to compare with a Cyclone. You could go for like a full-size pickup, but uh, the Cyclone was perhaps a bit more sporty in some ways than this thing. I mean, I can, I guess, kind of do... So <laughs> Make a very, very odd looking one. But uh, yeah, I think the Cyclone is a little bit sportier than this one. I did, uh, this was a, a mod that I found. Well, like a Steam Workshop body for uh, kind of a pickup. It's kind of more of a car just with the back. Like, like the the Top Gear ones they had uh, where they would make pickups. What was it? The Argentina, Patagonia special. That was the one where they made pickups out of their cars. That's kind of, yeah, a little too car race for me. In the end... I have settled for, admittedly, it isn't quite the most aerodynamic shape, but we're going to go for, it's essentially a Land Rover, uh, it's a Land Rover Defender style vehicle turned into a pickup. We could go for a, a four seat, well, kind of a Hummer H1 almost, kind of a mini Hummer. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for the Land Rover. The Land Rover body is going to be uh, the the base for my sports pickup here. I don't, I don't actually know if kind of like slanting these back actually makes a difference to aerodynamics at all. Might do, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a good compromise. All uh, right, can we get uh, just extend the wheel arches out a little bit just so we can get some bigger tires if needed? Are you going to let me? Oh, there we go. Extend these a little bit, and I don't think we can really, we can't really do much with a box, <laughs> basically. That'll do. That'll do for my for my vehicle. All right, on to the chassis now. What are we going to go for here? We shall go for a full space frame on it. No. <laughs> No, I will try and keep this relatively, hopefully relatively affordable. I don't quite want to go for a, a basic ladder chassis, though. After all, this is going to be a sporty a sporty vehicle, so we are going to go for a, a monocoque chassis. Perhaps not quite going for the carbon fibre chassis, which means we've pretty much got our choice of steel. We can have corrosion, resistant steel, galvanised steel, or just basic. Uh, seeing as, well, they're all way the same, they've all got the same stiffness, um, shall we go for... We'll go with galvanised steel. Should be a little bit cheaper than the corrosion resistant one, and that doesn't make a huge, a huge difference, certainly not the way that I'm kind of building stuff. Let's go for a front longitudinal engine. Now, we are going to be, you know, hopefully a relatively quick car, so we want to have some sportiness in the suspension. We'll go for, I think, double wishbone suspension all round. We won't quite go for push rods on the, on the back of it. Uh, panel material, I do want to try and keep the weight down, perhaps not going quite for fiberglass. Uh, I quite like the idea of, of partial aluminium. It uh, doesn't mean it's a limited production, such as that bit there, but it is a little bit lighter than just going for steel, so that's what we're going to, uh, to go for here. Ah, now we get to the fixtures on our vehicle. Um, what are we getting? Now I've slanted that back, it's going to look really weird, I think, with the uh, headlights. What are we going to do for headlights on here? I'm not actually quite sure what uh, <laughs> what I want to have on my vehicle. Uh, they're slightly twisted to me. Um, I don't know. Let's have a look at it. I didn't really think about it. Often I have kind of like a rough idea of what I want to do with a vehicle, but this one I'm not really quite sure what I want to do with the... Uh, no, I'm not sure I like any of these headlights particularly. Go away. I didn't want you. Uh, what about sort of these style? Make it look sort of evil. Can we have an evil looking, evil looking Land Rover? I can live with an evil looking Land Rover, I think. Sure, if we go with these maybe if we stick them up in the top corner like that then we will try and get some uh, get some grills along the front of this one here sure i like that there uh should we go for it all the way across uh, um hmm 
Don't know. Don't know quite what I want to do, sort of grill-wise on this one. Maybe if we have a grill in the middle. Uh, what are we going to? We're probably going to need a huge amount in the way of cooling. I'm not quite sure what we're going to have uh, engine performance-wise. It's going to be... I say I don't know what we're going to have. We're going to have a relatively powerful engine. That should probably be more than enough cooling for whatever whatever we end up putting in this vehicle. Sure, we'll go for like a slightly slightly angry looking uh, Land Rover pickup. Right, taillights. We have got... Uh, I don't actually have any... Just realised, I'd kind of like the sort of vertical taillights. I don't think we have... I, mean, I guess I could have these here and then we could just kind of twist them round. No? Okay, you don't really want to... Sure. <laughs> He's got angry at me. It doesn't want to have them... Oh, God, so I can't even get them to go. No. Oh, for heaven's sake. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> you know what? That that, that, that that will do. Um, oh, God. Uh, that'll do there. Sure. It was fairly basic. To be fair, there isn't a huge amount that I can do as far as sort of massively interesting, exciting stuff goes with, uh, with a pickup body like this one. We'll have indicators on the side. I actually remember to put the door handles on this time. Always useful having door handles on a vehicle. Funnily enough, you can go in there. We could go for a mighty wing could go for a true <laughs> yes that is the most oh look at that that is the most effective of wings i've ever seen on a vehicle ever uh, we could uh, can we actually not are we uh yes that is how i want my aerodynamics to work i'm sure i'm sure <laughs> now we're just making an air break uh, okay what about do we oh yes we can we can have them on the roof look at that that is a spectacle and a half. Unfortunately, I can't actually mount it on the back. Oh well. Uh, so no no silly wings for this vehicle. Uh, we shall go for some exhausts on the... Ooh, um, um, okay, I'm not sure that's quite how exhausts are supposed to look, but uh, there we go. Why do you want to have exhausts like that? See, I don't... <laughs> I, I, um, okay, even if I try to put them there, it gets unhappy with me. Not happy with these exhausts. Okay, maybe we go for these ones here, then. Will that work? For some reason, it wants to really stick the exhaust quite a long way out the back. Some people did say about having side exit exhaust. Unfortunately, you can't put them on the sides of the vehicle. So, yeah. Uh, I don't don't know why the, the exhaust... I've never had, actually, this kind of issue with, with this game before. It's kind of... I don't know. We're going to have to just pretend that the exhaust look normal, basically. Because I can't do anything else with it. So, sure, they can stay on there, and oh, we will finish it off with our badge on the front, and one on the rear as well. Right, that is the uh, the basis of our pickup truck done. Now, we are going to go for uh, all-wheel drive. Now, we're not going for an off-road pickup truck, this one. This is kind of a sporty one, so we're not going to go for the 4x4. We are going to go for the all-wheel drive instead. Uh, the drivability is high, acceleration is high, which is good. Cost is high and so on, but there we go. Uh, now, we aren't being silly with this one, so we are, can have this in our normal orange colour. Right, now, to the engine. The Cyclone was powered by a, a V6 engine. As we're building a rival, I don't have to stick with a V6. I think we're going to go for a V8. Or do we go for a flat plane V8? Uh, I don't actually know which one is more expensive to work with. I'll just go with a, a, a standard V8, if you like. Um, again, we're building a sporty one. I kind of do want to build... I kind of do want to go with, uh, with aluminium where I can. I'm hoping it won't come out as too expensive. What size engine? I think the Cyclone was a four, four or four and a half litre um v6 so if we go for uh shall we go for a four and a half four and a half liter v8 yeah we'll go we'll go with uh with that one again we are wanting to keep it relatively sporty so we'll go with uh dual overhead cams uh we'll go with four valves for now i get i can come back and change this bits and pieces if i want to if the cost is looking too ridiculous we can come back and and maybe adjust some stuff uh right now, we are wanting to get relatively good power out of all of this, but of course aware of aware of the cost, so we will... Do we want high RPM or high torque? That is the question out of all of this. Unfortunately, yeah, the, we don't have any of the kind of like really extreme stuff, I think, because of the, the era that we're working in, so 
we will go with... Uh, we should probably go with higher torque being a pickup truck and everything. Sure, we will go with we'll go with all of that. Um, lightweight forged. What have we got with uh, forged yet? Yeah, sure, that will work for me. Okay, onwards we go. We will come back to adjust all of this stuff later on. Shall we go for some variable variable timing? Sure, stick that on there. Oh, and of course we get to choose our engine cover. Which style do we like? Um, I'll stick with this one, actually. We'll find out. There we go. Correct colour, of course, for all of my engines. Right. Turbochargers. I think we shall have two of them. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not, because the engine doesn't fit if we add turbos. Oh, really? Ask. Oh, can we... Is there any way of... Aha! Right, okay. So, this is going to be a little bit limiting in terms of what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have ever had this problem actually when building an engine on here. That's quite neat. So if we go for a, a race set performance, okay, so we go for a performance setup on here. I've never had an engine too wide to fit in a car before. I've had engines far too long. That's normally what's limiting me. That's quite a neat little thing that we're having to now uh, worry about. Let's go for, sure, we'll go for a, a, a huge intercooler on this. Uh, it doesn't seem to, I swear it normally puts the thing out in front, so hopefully there'll be more than enough space to fit that into the car. Uh, right, uh, fuel system injector, we we want we want power, basically. Uh, <laughs> we, want, we want power, we'll go with a performance one, rather than just going to a full full race thing. Uh, we'll run on, on premium, and that'll do for, again, I'll come back and fiddle with all of these later on. We'll go for dual exhausts, uh, we're not going to be getting a thousand horsepower <laughs> out of it. I, I highly I highly doubt. Um, sure, again, I'm going to stick all of this on and we can come back, potentially, and uh, change it if we're looking at too expensive. Right, what are we doing power-wise at the moment? 200 horsepower out of this one. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Well, we can go back here and change some stuff. Engine is not good enough. Let's lower the compression a little bit. Oh, that's more like it. That's what I want to see. 400 foot-pound of torque. That I like. That's a lot of talk out of this thing. Shall we stick this up? Oh, that's we're getting out to four. Okay, so yeah, we stick the cam profile up. We lose some of the talk, but gain some of the power. Shall we kind of try and even it out at about 400 each? Sure. Uh, we are. Okay, so the turbine is restricting the airflow through. Oh, but I can't do anything more than that. That is all we can. Uh, uh, I don't want to do that too much because otherwise we're just going to get. Yeah, if we keep kind of going up with the the um, a a a r. I was going to say that was air air something ratio. I'm not quite sure what the that is. I apologise for my lack of mechanical knowledge here. Uh, we don't want to go too crazy. Oh no, that'll blow the engine to. Bits. I'm actually quite pleased with how this engine has has, <laughs> has turned out with all of this. Okay, okay, so I literally cannot make that any bigger on there. I think I am at the limit of the turbine. Okay, I can put the turbine up more, but that gives us incredible turbo lag. So I'm thinking if we kind of sit around 470 horsepower, that's a lot for a pickup truck. Let's not forget, 470 horsepower is is a hell of a lot of power. Oh, I've just managed to knock into my microphone. Sorry if there were some uh, wibbly noises going on there. 404 torque. Yeah, that's, it, this is probably the least turbo laggy car of the silly stuff that uh, that I have built. Now, can we get away with any more RPM? Uh, we probably can actually get away with a little bit. Okay, well, we can get to about 6,000 RPM, and that's when it's kind of having some having some issues. I think we just don't have quite the the parts, if you like. Oh, I can up the fuel mixture. Can we get five? Oh, I can't quite crack 500. 493 horsepower. Okay, I'm quite liking that. I'm quite liking that one. Uh, can we, if we, I know we can fiddle around with this. There we go. We will, uh, oh, 501 horsepower. Now, I can't do too much about the turbos, I am completely and utterly restricted on size. Cooling required 473. I believe I have more than enough cooling on this vehicle. Okay. I am I'm pretty happy. I would like to get more RPM out of it. Uh, if we were to go with uh, maximum RPM high. Now, will that cause us problems? Will it be too much torque for them to deal with? Uh, nah, we can't really. I okay, might get six and a half. Okay, no, not quite. Uh, six thousand four hundred. 
Yeah, okay, so we, we've made it a little bit better. We aren't we aren't having now problems with too much torque. I think I'm pretty happy with that as an engine. That may have made it a little bit more expensive. Uh, no, it's not too bad. Material cost 3,000. Uh, to 3,128, we can have a little. Oh no, I forgot. We can have a little play around with the engine if we uh, if we want here. Um, hide hide you lot away. We can uh, have. Oh, there we go. Have a have a little uh, have a little play with our. <laughs> yeah, the power band is power band is smoother than I've had in my had in my previous engines, which is which is nice. I guess slightly more more sensible. And we can make lots of popping and banging noises if we want from the <laughs> from the engine. I quite like this engine actually. This is probably, as I said, one of my more one of my more sensible vehicles. I am just currently trying to. I've got Forza opened on my TV. I'm currently trying to find the GMC Cyclo so I actually know how much power it has because I forgot to look before we started. Um, 280 horsepower is all the Cyclone had. I actually thought that had more power than uh, than it does. Okay. Uh, so we've got a much more powerful engine than the Cyclone. The Cyclone did have 360 uh, foot-pounds of torque, whereas we have 462. So I've got a much more powerful engine in my vehicle. That I like. Uh, it might be... Oh, what's going on at the front there? Something's... Oh, that might be... Ah. That might be one of the pipes. The, 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 um, yeah, our engine is a little big. Never mind. We shall carry on. Uh, we are going to go for a manual gearbox, of course. Uh, the Cyclone had a four-speed... I think the Cyclone might have actually been automatic. Uh, but we're going to go for a five-speed uh, in as It reckons the top speed is 159 miles an hour. I fear we will have the power in this, but the aerodynamics are going to be awful. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't actually do a huge amount about that. Um, I'm actually quite surprised. I was expecting a little bit more speed from that. Uh, we want some sportiness in here. We're going to go for a, a geared diff. Power distribution. Ooh. What do we want to go? Do we want to go... Um, shall we go 60-40, I think, for this... Uh, um, yeah, actually, yeah, bugger it. We'll go with that. It'll be quite light over the back, of course, being a well, a pickup, but uh, sure, it should be quite lively to drive, shall we say. Um, we're going to go with medium compound road tyres. Let's give us some considerably larger tyres. Two, three, fives. Uh, oh. I always seem to manage to do this, how the things have stupid size front tyres. So we'll go for two, three, fives all around. Uh, can we... Oh, um... Oh, okay. I was going to say, can we put them out a little bit more? But actually, no, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to, so... Yeah, okay, that will sit there. I should give it just slightly bigger, slightly bigger rims. I uh, can't make that any bigger. We'll go for some alloy wheels. And I, I pretty much use this these <laughs> rims. I should probably go to the workshop and download some more, because they're about the only ones that I like out of these standard ones. Not a particular... Their ones are okay. Just not a particular fan of the rest of these ones. So... Yeah, bugger it, it's going to stay on these like everything else. Again, uh, people say about the quality ciders, I'm not going to touch the quality ciders. They, at the moment, they tend to make stuff so, so bloody expensive so quickly that uh, I've got more than enough power going on in uh, in this one. So, yeah, shall we go? We'll go for a solid... We're going to want some... some um, Yeah, some decent... Oh, we'll leave that in the middle. We want some decent brakes on this. <laughs> some this bigger bloody brakes as we can. But again, got to be aware of the of the cost but brakes are not something you really want to skimp on when it comes to a performance pickup truck uh under tray should we go for is going to add some money uh do we want to go for sort of semi-clad as we were saying it can get some some better speed better aerodynamics of course by going for for these uh cooling required cooling is 477 so if we have just enough again so we don't create any extra drag uh, seats, uh, hmm, do we want to go for uh, three? Sure, we'll go for three seats in here. Um, I think the Cyclone, the Cyclone would only have been two seats, so we're going to have one more seat than the Cyclone as well. Um, oh, we've got some premium interior, right? We want to keep things relatively light inside here. Again, only weight saving that we can do would be good. Oh, Sport is very expensive, though. So let's go for, let's just go for, for standard. Um... Again, I mean, I could just take it all out just for, for the sake of lightness, but it is, it's not quite a racing vehicle, so we will go for some standard stuff. We will have these as options, of course. With all my things, I, I want to note that there is an option to turn it off if you want to go and have fun 
with your uh, with your pickup truck. Uh, we'll go with standard. Uh, uh, um, yeah, sure, we'll stick with, with a standard one there. Ah, onto the suspension. We want, we do want some sportiness, really, in uh, in all of it, and we want some sportiness and some drivability. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, it's, yeah, that's fairly expensive, but again, I do kind, I do kind of want the the sportiness. Right, let's have a look then at our overall. Oh, I've just seen the miles a gallon. That might have to be uh, adjusted ever so slightly. Total cost. The total cost, 8,485. Actually pretty satisfied with that as a as a, an outcome, if you like. Uh, drivability, sportiness are I'm I'm assuming these are out of out of a hundred. I'm yeah, not actually sure. Uh, re reliability. I always seem to manage to make mine vehicles more reliable than they are anything else. Like, <laughs> this is far more reliable than it is good at anything. It's uh, relatively practical as well. The miles a gallon, though, I would quite like to improve. I think we can, we can, we might have to have, we might have to sacrifice being uh, under, under 500 horsepower if we can get some, some more miles a gallon out of, uh, out of this one, because that is quite, um, quite bad. So if we start the uh, fuel mixture back down there, 13. Point seven. I don't know what the cyclone did. Uh, probably not a huge amount. People did recommend as well. I could increase. Uh, what am I doing? Don't want to go in there. I want to go in here. Uh, one way you can increase the miles a gallon if we go for considerably longer gear ratios. That can help quite a lot. There we go. Yeah, fourteen point one miles a gallon. That gives us a naught to sixty-two time of four point one seconds. In 1991, you know, that's up there with the fastest of the vehicles, really. 14 miles a gallon, I think, is reasonable. We've got it into uh, <laughs> double digits. So, yeah, I'm, re I'm relatively content with, uh, with, with, with shipping it at 14 miles a gallon. Shall we give it a run at the test track? Now, I have this time around remembered to put up the... Or got, got up the Top Gear, the, the lap time, so we have something to compare it to, just out of curiosity. Right, pick up, go and create havoc. Its top speed is only 137 miles an hour, which is a little bit of a shame. That is something that it doesn't beat the Cyclone on. I think that is probably down to the pretty awful aerodynamics. On the on the vehicle, as it's not 60 time. Yeah, not to 60, 4.1. 50 to 75 is 2.4. Does it have a not to 100 time anywhere? I don't think it does display it. Quarter of a mile time, 12.4. That's not again for what it is. I don't think that's particularly bad for a, for a pickup. But yeah, that that top speed is kind of um, kind of bitch. I think me fiddling around with the gears might not have helped matters in all of that, and just reducing the, the power by, sort of, 30 um, horsepower, and that certainly hasn't helped our top speed. Weight is one and a half tons. About right, really, considering most modern, normal, modern hatchbacks are probably getting to that sort of weight these days. I'd say that's uh, not too bad. Right. Is the uh, car going to be flat out through the next corner? Uh, no, not quite. It's pretty damn close, though, actually. <laughs> so, not bad. Again, for a big pickup truck, that is not bad. Getting through that uh, section, hopefully at some uh, some decent speeds, right around the final corner. How fast is our bonkers pickup going to have been? Uh, it's this one that we want. One twenty-three point one. It's not quite as quick as the economic sports car I put out last time, but admittedly that was like nine hundred kilos and well a proper sports car. A twenty-three point one. Let's go have a look. What does that put our pickup with? It goes as fast as a Porsche 911 GT3, the 997 GT3. It is quicker than the Ferrari F430 Spider. It uh, is, in fact, it is the same time as a KTM Crossbow. Um, I've built a quick pickup truck. I'd say that's quite a success. Apart from its terrible top speed, I am, uh, yeah pretty damn pleased with this truck. I think it is a solid rival to the Cyclone, apart from, yeah, that awful top speed and the fact that one of the pipes is sticking out of the front. Our twin-turbo V8 pickup truck is 
pretty decent. I'm really quite satisfied with uh, with this one. Yeah, it's relatively affordable, relatively as practical as a sports pickup truck is going to be. Let's face it. Yeah, I I really do quite uh, quite like it. So there we go. I have uh, built my rival to the uh, the GMC Cyclone, and it is yeah pretty pretty solid competition. Let me know which one you would rather have. Would you rather have the GMC Cyclone or my crazy, slightly angry looking Land Rover? <laughs> but uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>